Currently 6 a.m. I'm all pooped all over my bed. Oh my. I'm all, what the f Ponte. What's up? Dude, check this out. What happened? I don't have my glass. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I am currently trying to figure out what to do with this kitten because we found him in the trash pile behind our apartment. Problem is I travel to a new country every single month, so it's not like we can take him with us. And you said you get no pussy. <laughs> but he's really cute and he has a injured paw, so it just feels unethical to throw him back in the wild. I feel like to bathe him, you want to fill this up with water, put it in the stove, and then boil him. Cats do. So if you can't put your hand in the water, don't put him in the water. I'm not gonna, yeah, I was. I, let, let, let him cook for a bit. <laughs> not like soup temperature, but like jacuzzi temperature. The first thing we have to do is bathe him because he was a trash can when we found him, so. Dude, he's literally about to sleep and you're about to drop him in so much hot water. <laughs> I am so sorry, Avok. Oh, he's chill. <laughs> this is fun. This is he drinking it? Stop it. This is bath water. Stop it. I'm going to put shampoo in here. He can't be drinking it. So we named our cat Amok after our favorite meal in Cambodia. It was like the one word we knew from Cambodia. We didn't even like fish curry that much. We had it once. We just thought it was a really cute name. Yeah. You know, I was unsure if we were going to keep the cat for a while. He was really cute. Like getting to bathe him, to feed him, to give him his medicine every day. It really looks like we're cooking this. <laughs> it looks so demented. No, seriously, even Pantene, that's like good shit. This looks like the glaze you put on food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's slippery though. I feels like I'm bathing a rat. <laughs> I kind of like seeing animals suffer a little bit, you know? Suffer a little bit. Because like I feel bad. like it shows adversity. You're gonna put your kids through the same thing too. Just a little bit of <laughs> adversity. Jeez, dude. My parents traumatized me and I came out fine. You good, buddy? For the most part, despite his whining, he was actually pretty easy to bathe. So. <laughs> Oh, smells clean. clean right? Smells like Pantene. <laughs> That's that like good shit. Pantene sponsor us. I, I haven't used soap myself. Oh, Philips sweater is comfy, huh? It's a candy. Look, oh. dude, that's what I mean. Oh, he's pushing me away, dude. Open, open, open. He's shaking a lot. I don't. I want to like relax a little bit. There we go. There oh, we go. Let's go. You're from like nah, bro. So please more. <laughs> Oh, he likes it. He didn't eat any of the kibble, but he eats chicken. Meowing while he's eating it. That's <laughs> cute. The cat won't shut up, and it's currently midnight. So the cat is obviously lonely. I'm gonna find him friends. <gasps> I'm like 50-50 on releasing him back into the wild at this point. Even I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Joking. I already tried. I put him outside twice already, he wouldn't leave. <laughs> okay, you're cute, I know. But you also make a lot of noise. And I have to sleep at night, buddy. You can just nurse him up until his paw gets better. It's currently three in the morning and the cat will not shut up. I won't go to bed, I'm so tired. What do you want? Please. Leave me alone. What do you want? Are you going to take him to poop? No, I'm getting rid of him. <laughs> I don't have to deal with him anymore. He's checking. He won't even leave anyways. He misses you. And he likes those toes. He's a freak. Oh, he likes it this time. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I'm a whore. <laughs> Good job. Bro, I don't understand how he hasn't taken a shit. Like, dude, it's been 24 hours. Uh, that's why I'm leaving, so I don't have to deal with that part. I'm <laughs> Why? Bro, I came in, that shit was so massive. I thought you pooped in the bed, bro. <laughs> that is such a small kitten. There's no way he could drop a deuce that big. <laughs> what, bro? You pooped on my shit. You pooped on my bed. Puddles aren't gonna make this better. I give him chicken skin. I feed him well. You're an asshole. Please. You have him for the next two days. Oh, look, you're not going on my bed, bro. You're sleeping on the floor. No sleep, no girls. I see people do this. Online, like a bag. Use that as a glove, and they scoop the poop. Hey, hey! He was pooping again. Is he really? Bro, he was literally about to poop again. You're fucked up. Is he pooping now? Ah! No! Oh, get out! Get out! What the fuck is wrong with him, dude? Well, I held this cat upright, and he pooped 
upwards in the air. No, no stop, stop. Finish pooping. Finish, finish pooping. Finish poop. I never want to see this cat again, bro. Fuck we need you. to give this cat to someone. <laughs> House cleaning does not come for three more days, so now to deal with this poo. Oh my god! Bro, it looks like chocolate. Hey, we missed one poop. What the f- That's when he was shitting from the sky, and I think that's when it dropped. Why do you keep pooping everywhere? Poop anywhere else but my bed, please! Fuck you up. are a fucking asshole. Uh, Philip, how does that look? Uh, so mushy, bro. Jeez. Oh. My mental health is not doing well now, bro. <laughs> Ever since we took him in, I can't sleep. 6 a.m. on a Friday, and I'm waking up, picking up cat food. Uh, he's licking his asshole. What the fuck, you nasty ass. There's urine stains, too. Bitch. Poopy stains, and then that is so yellow. It smells like pee. Yo, bro, don't be splashing that on me. <laughs> what are you doing? The toilet in there. Let me start this. Tough morning, guys. What are you looking up? Four weeks? Is that what that says? Four weeks! Bro. Four weeks to get this thing litter trained? We cleaned that poop, and this motherfucker went back to my room to poop again. You are an outside cat! I found you outside, and you keep pooping in my room. Oh, hell no. Nah. Typically, be drawn to go to the bathroom in a corner. Mine doesn't have that problem. <laughs> Mine doesn't go in the corner at all. He goes in my bed. Even after all that, you let him sleep on your neck. You're such a good owner. After that crazy morning, look where he came running back to. You have anything to say for yourself, Emma? He keeps scratching up our furniture. Okay. <sighs> Ah oh, shit. What are you gonna do? Mother fuck. There we go. You are not cool. I do not like you right now. I didn't get much sleep last night, but I can't really kick out the cat because it's freaking rainy outside, so. My nipples are sore. He bit my left one really hard. Lamar Jackson in the pocket. Spins. What? Jokes him up. Philip, do not spike our cat! Do not- No! I'm up. I'm up. A litter box! Now you can shit there and only there. I kind of felt bad for a muck because Phil can have some pretty high expectations for his kids. No, don't I think. don't think it's high expectations that I don't want my cat to poop uh, in my freaking bed, bro. He He's a stray. How is he supposed to know any better? Okay, then let him poop in your bed. Okay, no, fuck That's that. That's what I thought. <laughs> From this angle, that looks wrong. <laughs> YouTube video said to do this. It's not weird. What is that? He's in such a human pose. He pooped properly. Yeah. And he's burying it. Is that what he's doing? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! We're so proud of you. Oh, he went from pooping in my bed to pooping in, um, whatever that thing is. In one day. One day, yeah. I've never been so happy. So, what do you just do to you? You can scratch the fuck out of me. Sand them. After Amok pooped in my bed and then proceeded to scratch me, I realized I needed to find him a new home fast. They can retract their claws, you know that? I see. Oh shit. I always give him his pain medication. <laughs> this is the medicine we've been giving him every day. I'm gonna be honest, I know we weren't the best cat owners, but for the few weeks we had a month, we tried our very best. Right. One of the things we were worried about is we have housekeepers come every two weeks, and I didn't want the housekeeper to tell the Airbnb host that we took in a lion. I asked the housekeeper, is there anything you need help with? You know, thinking that I'll make her job a little easier. And she says, yes, my children need school supplies. <laughs> <laughs> These three bags for five dollars each, so fifteen dollars total. Somehow, a simple offer to my housekeeper turned into me buying school supplies for her children. But along the way, we finally got entrenched into our first bit of Cambodian culture. Hang and his family were so grateful they invited us back to their house for a homemade Cambodian dinner. They said they're taking us to their home. Fancy and I are definitely not ones to say no to free food. Hi. You got play with the cat? This is my home. Thank this you. is our first time seeing actually how Cambodian people live. Their house was super unique. It reminded me of a tree house or some sort of camping. Everyone is usually outdoors. You cook outdoors, you clean outdoors, you shower outdoors. 
The first floor is mostly hammocks. You know, all this happened because I asked her, how can we help you? Uh, I meant it like, do you want me to help you clean? But <laughs> and then she's like, oh, my kids need supplies. And I was like, oh, okay. We'll help your kids get supplies. Ah, can I have this? Yeah, okay. Wow! <laughs> Good. Wow. Being very honest, I just didn't know how these people live, I guess. Coming from my Western perspective, I would assume that people are a little bit nervous to show how they live. But maybe that this is they're okay with this because this is just their, their lifestyle. It's, it's cool. It's cool to know they're comfortable with us. <laughs> First um, Cambodia shower experience, guys. <laughs> Bill, what are you doing, man? I'm drying off. He said, we are very happy that you are happy to come visit my house. Keep in mind, this family like, doesn't really have that much money. They're serving us this chicken. And it, it tastes good, you know, it's a, it's a great chicken. Ponce loves to steal all the people's portions. I don't want to say that. You were going to let those kids starve. Hey, so I didn't notice that until you put So basically what happened, I was helping myself to a little too many servings of the chicken when Phil taps me on the shoulder and points out that the little kid hasn't had a piece of meat the entirety of the time that we've been sitting there. The kid is just eating rice. And to confirm, I look him in the eye and he's just kind of just, this looks like the, the hungriest child I've ever seen. The kid reached in to get a piece of meat and his mom slapped his hand away, and he was like, and Ponce is here just chowing down on another piece. I'm like, put the fucking piece back, bro. We know that it is a financial burden, but we are wondering if you would take our cat. Don't feel any pressure to take the cat in because we know it is another mouth to feed. But if you do want to take it, let us know. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, brown and healthy. Right. Have long. Hey, mom. Bye. <laughs> it felt like we had the absolutely perfect day. And we finally might have found a family for a muck. Ponce, you have a problem. What's the problem? Guess. Is a muck missing? What is that? <laughs> what did you do? I can't even tell which one's a muck. This is gray. This one's brown. 